In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can animate characters in Adobe Captivate 9. I'll click on the Media dropdown and choose Characters, and then select a state from this set of characters. Now, the idea here is to use the same actor, but different states for that character. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and then I'll do it three more times, choosing a different state every time. And one more time. And there we go. Now we've got the same character, one on top of each other, and they're all in different states. So how do you animate that? Well, we go to the timeline, click on the bar once, and here are our four states, one, two, three, and four. They've been added in the order that we did them from bottom to top. So the very first one we chose is right here, and then it goes up. Now, the first thing I want to do here is change the time. Right now, the time is three seconds. You can see it right there. And if you need to check, it says right here that the duration is three seconds. Well, that's way too long. What I'd like to do is select all of them. So I'm going to select any of these and then shift click to select them all. Notice how they become a darker blue. And then click and drag down from the right hand edge until we have a duration that's around let's say 0.3 seconds right there. So you can see there it says 0.3 seconds. Now, once I've done that, then I can select each layer, click and drag over until it reaches the end. So there's the first one, and then it's gonna to switch to this one. And then click this one and click and drag it over. And same idea, it's going to key in after this one. And then finally the fourth one like that. Now, you can't see what's happening right here, but if I click the play button right here, you can see that animation occur. Let's take a look at it again. So it's a really simple and easy method to animate your characters using the timeline in Captivate. And as you can see, to actually get any type of serious animation, you'd have to use a lot of different layers and a lot of different character states. But say for uh, something like the correct answer in a quiz, rather than having a green check mark animate, to be able to have a character actually saying right on like that is often a great reinforcement method. So just keep in mind that you can animate the characters and it doesn't have to be for a correct answer for a test. If you look at the characters, let's go back. You can see all sorts of different states. These are all the business states. So in this one, for instance, this man looks rather questioning and he's sort of wondering what's going on. This one, we've got the gentleman sort of saying, okay, I understand what you're saying. So each one has sort of a different um, cast to it. The idea here is that you can create scenarios with animation that sort of tell the user something. They start to tell a story or a game to provide reinforcement and different characters can be used for different things. For example, we have the animated characters here that can be very useful. Even the stick characters here could be quite useful. So just keep that in mind and play around with the timeline. It's one of those things that because of the other features of an application like Captivate, you might tend to dismiss or forget about the timeline, but it's a great way of bringing life and interactivity to your presentations and projects when you're working in Adobe Captivate 9.